I don't really paint traditional landscapes in a certain sense. I definitely think I'm inspired by my location an awful lot. I live and work here, the house I grew up in. I traveled out and went to art school a few different places. Now I'm happy to make my home here. My name is uh, Nang Mi Wants Beam. I'm a painter and paint maker from Qing First Nation on Manchulin Island. We're a, a deep valley and there's a cliff on either side. It's always very peaceful here because winds can't really get up to any great speed. We're very protected. In like a perfect world, I could get up before everybody, come out here and have a coffee and do some painting. And winter is a bit more of a contemplative time. So there's more time for painting and things like, like that in the winter. In the summer is just more hectic, just in general, because we all the seasonal things that you can do, you're trying to squeeze that in, like go out fishing and go out in the boat and then come back, take care of animals, have supper, you know, just be around family. We raise chickens and turkeys and raised pheasants. I paint uh, birds quite often. They stand out for me as a, a beautiful animal and also very symbolic of family and travel and home and all those good things. Quite literally because that's our, our family name. The Miguans is like a bird eagle clan. I started bean paints in 2017, 2018 and I started it on my dad's birthday. It was a real desire to do the things that I did when I was a kid, but to do them with my own family. Taking them out to quarries and rock cuts and looking at rock and making paint and, and showing them how to do it. It can be local different earths and different colors. Things that you find, they can be stone. I have different kinds of paint I make depending on what I want something to look like. To go beyond just taking paint and making a painting, but making paint to make a certain effect in a painting. But I really love the people I get to work with. To be able to interact with that extraordinary amount of artists, even very slightly, is really inspiring. I think to, to wake up early and do all this and squeeze it all in, you've got to stay on top of your game. I don't think there is any difference between painting and regular life. Even spending time with my family, my kids do ceramics and different things. I had two artist parents and they made sure I always had art supplies. I think I just understood it as a way of living more than like a job. And especially here where I am, there have been so many generations of my family that have been here and they've done all kinds of things on the same spot. I think that you should feel free to edit your work. I'm always enjoying learning about painting and one painting I did, it ended up being a beaver dam that's overflowing, but it started out as an iceberg. It completely didn't go that way nice to sometimes put me and see myself in a landscape. You can't ever have a dream of something in the future without having the spot where you, you're standing. I remember learning that all matter that was created is still in existence and reforms. Like the water on the planet at the time of the dinosaurs is still the same water. And it's the same water going through all the rivers around the world been a really comforting thought to me at a lot of points. I just really enjoy harbors and all the shorelines and lakes. When I was a kid, the Otter Lake is beautiful. Mindamoya and Treasure Island, I really like. You know, a vehicle is a connection to the landscape for a person. You don't just magically appear. 
I paint vehicles that I want to drive. I like old vintage cars too and trucks because they just remind me of different times when I rode in vehicles like that. It's a potential and I think I'm so aware of it in that way because it's really difficult to live on Manitoulin if you don't drive or have a vehicle. I have a feeling when I'm painting. I don't get any other way. I think it's a feeling that attaches me to the world. It's that when I'm there, I'm kind of in another place. There isn't any part of my life that isn't related to art in some way. And it's all the things that I, that I love. And I purposely made it that way.